Hey everyone, my name is Donald and in this video we're going to be discussing fancy heading with ultimate add-ons for Elementor. The fancy heading allows us to create interactive headings that can type in, they can drop in, and of course we have all kinds of different styling options for both the fancy text and the static text on the element. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into this. So right now we have our website and we're gonna go ahead and change out this static text right here to something that's a little bit more animated. Right now it says get it on any device. We wanna go ahead and tell them what devices are available. So we're gonna go ahead and change it from get it on any device to get it on iOS, Android, Mac, and Windows. So let's go ahead and change this out. We're gonna go ahead and search for fancy click and drag this right into our designer. So right here we have a few different options already. We have the heading text and we have the effect. The heading text, let's go ahead and dive into this. The before text is the, the I am right here. It's static along with the after text. These are ones that are not going to change. So let's go ahead and change this to get it on. So this is going to allow us to put our prefix here. So let's go ahead and change the fancy text. We wanna go ahead and enter each different line item or uh, in our case device on each line. So we wanna do iPhone, Android, Mac, and Windows. They each wanna be on a different line. Once we've gone ahead and do, done that, you can see right now that they're already changing. It updates, you know, as we type it in. So we want to go ahead and keep it just like that. So on the after text, let's add today with an exclamation point. So we can go ahead and have that just so it's a little bit exciting. Now, some of you may not like the typing. So there's a different option called slide. Now what this allows it to do, it just slides into the next text, and then we have a couple of different animation and pause time options for this as well. So we have the pause on hover. This allows us to, when we hover over top of it, it stays paused. But as soon as we leave it, then it actually starts flipping back through the text all over again. The animation speed is basically how long it takes to transition from one word to another. So if we have it all the way down, it's just going to keep snapping right next to another. There's not gonna be any fading or anything like that. If we keep it longer, then it's gonna take a long time for it to switch over to the next one. And now this is all based on your demographics or who on your site and the content that you have, the words that you have inside that are flipping. So use this with, with caution, just make sure it looks good and people have time to read it for your animation speed and your pulse time. The pause time is how long that the word stays up. So right now it's 2000 milliseconds, which equates to two seconds. So we wanna to switch to this, we can switch it all the way up to five seconds. So basically it'll show each word for five entire seconds. And then we're gonna have it so that it takes one second to transition to the next word. So if we see right here, it takes one second to transition, and then it's going to take five seconds once it's on there, it's gonna stay on there. And then of course, if we pause, hover over top of it, it stays paused. So we have those options. For the styling, let's go ahead and style this up so it matches this a bit and so it doesn't look so bland. Let's go ahead and we can change the title tag to be whatever we want to match our SEO. And then we have an alignment options, left, center, and right aligned. Now this is awesome. What we've done here is for the center aligned, we've made it so that everything stays centered and that it doesn't, it doesn't shorten on one side or another. Some other Elementor fancy heading um, elements, they do this. They don't allow you to keep everything centered because each word could be different lengths. It doesn't, I was doing something earlier with US states and we have something like New Hampshire, which is a long one. And then we have main, which is a very short one. So it just looked weird when trying to do, trying to get that effect on it. So we have layout, which is inline and stacked. So we can do stacked there. And then we have inline. 
We have before and after spacing. So the before spacing is the get it on, and the after spacing is today. So let's go ahead and we can add a little bit of spacing between that, and then add spacing on the after. So we have those options as, as available as well. For the styling, we can style both the heading and the fancy text separately. So the heading text, we can actually change the color of this to be black or, you know, almost black, something like that. And then we have the option to style the topography. So let's go ahead and do this. It's going to be, um, let's see, we we'll just choose a font right here. So there's a bunch of different options you could do. So you could choose a font. And then what we can do is also make it so that the fancy text is a different font. By default, it's going to choose the font that we chose for heading text, but we can go into the fancy text options and choose a different font, or we could choose the same font, but just do a bolder font so that it stands out more, but it's still the same font. So we have the, those options as well. And then we also have uh, the topography, so we can change the size of this. So once it goes to the next one, it'll, it'll correct itself. And then we can change the weight, the transformation. So upper, lower, capitalized, normal line heights, and things of that nature. So we can always change that just like so. And we have, of course, the letter spacing. We can always change the letter spacing on that. We can flip on the advanced options, which allow us to have a background type of the color or image and then a gradient as well. So we can have a gradient on the regular heading text and then we can have a gradient on the fancy text that's completely separate. So we have both of those options as well. We can control the padding as well as the border type, border radius, and text shadow for both the heading and the fancy text. So let's go ahead and give you an example of that. Background type, let's choose this, uh, let's choose this pink. Let's go ahead and change the text color to white. And we're going to add some padding to this color. So let's add, um, let's add 20 pixel padding to the actual uh, thing right here. So we have this here. So we've gone ahead and added that. Let's go ahead and Add the padding there so we have that. And you can see that we have all of our different options there. So that's always a great way to have the different styling there for everyone. All right, so let's go ahead and flip that back off. Let's go here, choose this back to black. And we can go ahead and finally delete this one right here. So we have it ready to go for our website. We have those different options. It's slow enough for people to read, it's not too fast, it's got all of the right settings, so we are all good to go. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have not done so yet, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell, and we will see you guys at the next one. Thanks.